Greetings, humans. Today, I will be revealing the dark, untold mysteries that lie within my amusement park bag. Dun, 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 dun. Be careful what you wish for, because what you're about to see cannot be unseen. It's really not that dramatic. I just don't have any vlog footage to show you this week. And some of you have been asking what kind of camera equipment I use. So I thought I'd use this opportunity to share all the things I bring to an amusement park. Let's get into it. First things first, everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked down below in my description. So if you wanna pick up any sort of gear that I mentioned in this video before your next park visit, please use the links in my description. Starting off, we have the bag itself. This is a High Sierra hydration pack backpack. I got it for like $30 at Costco, but I'll have an Amazon link in the description down below. This pack is really awesome because it has just a bunch of different little like pockets and storage options that are really easy to grab something out of like my sunscreen right here. This hydration pack is what I use to stay hydrated throughout my day long amusement park visits. It's extremely handy because I use it to fill up at the water bottle refill stations that most parks typically have by their bathrooms. And this saves me so much money in the park not having to pay for the overpriced bottled water. It's incredibly convenient to have it just on my back and I can whip my little tube around and drink some water while waiting in line. One thing that's a little odd about it though is it's kind of like a Ziploc bag the way you fill it up. You have to slide this thing off and then open it up and then when you fill it up you have to fold it back over and put this thing back on kind of like a Ziploc bag so that's the only like kind of thing I'm not like a huge fan of but it's really not too bad to do. Next up is my sunscreen. I keep sunscreen in my bag because melanoma bad. She's not welcome here. I don't want melanoma. Sometimes I also pack an extra shirt. If it's gonna be like cold in the morning, I'll bring like a long sleeve t-shirt and wear that and then take it off and switch it out with like a short sleeve or something later in the day if it's supposed to warm up. Next up, I like to keep some snacks in my bag, just some like granola bars and quick and easy things to eat to help keep my energy up throughout the day and to kind of help prevent me from spending more money in the park on their overpriced food. It, even though I usually end up eating like the same amount, um, regardless if I bring snacks or not. It's just nice to have a quick bite every so often when you're waiting in line. The last thing I keep in my bag before we get to the camera gear is a Ziploc baggie in case we go on any sort of like river rapids or log flume rides. I like to keep one of these so I can put my phone and wallet or anything else in here that I don't want to get wet on those types of rides. Like sometimes you have to bring your bag on and so I just like to keep one of these in my backpack so that way I can protect things that I don't want to get wet. Okay, now we're all ready for the real meat and potatoes of this video. My camera gear. First off, I use my iPhone 12 Pro Max as kind of my main camera. I use this anytime I'm just wandering around the park, talking to you guys, showing some off-ride footage. It's wonderful, it's got a great high quality camera. The colors are super bright and it handles the light really well. I don't use this whole setup in the park. I, I literally just carry my phone around with me. Um, this is a Rode Video Micro though, if, if you're curious. That's what I'm using currently. I'll Throw that in the description too, why not? Next up in here, we have our lovely GoPro Hero 8. This thing is a freaking girl boss. It's not the newest, fanciest GoPro out there, but it gets the job done wonderfully. Like my iPhone, it also takes smooth, bright, and colorful footage. Here are the settings I use to get the specific look of my <clears throat> footage. It's also small and fits very snugly in the palm of my hand, usually like this, so that I can grip it with all of my strength when filming intense things. My next item and probably the most important item that I use when I'm filming a vlog or going to an amusement park is this GoPro wrist strap. Basically, it's very discreet and keeps my camera secured to my body at all times. So while I have a very strong grip on it, if something were to happen during one of my rigorous activities, where it were to slip out of my hand, then the wrist strap will secure it. Within the GoPro, we have some important items as well. First off, we have the GoPro battery, of course. I would not be able to film anything without this. Next up is my 128 gigabyte micro SD card that captures all of my footage and stores it right here. I also would not be able to make any videos without this item either. I find that 128 gigabytes is just like the complete sweet spot of amount of storage for me because it's plenty of space to where that I will not run out during the day and have to swap it out or anything like that. I can just film as much as I want and then throw it into my computer and filter it out from there. Revisiting the battery, I have another accessory for my GoPro that I use every single time I go to a park. And that item is, wait, where did I put it? 
Oh, right here. <laughs> that item is my GoPro battery charger and extra GoPro battery. This thing is freaking awesome. It can charge two batteries at once by just simply slipping them in here and then clicking them in. It's also the perfect storage container for my extra battery to keep it protected while it's bouncing around in my bag, walking around the park all day long. Whenever my first battery dies, it's super easy and convenient to throw in my dead battery and pull out the fresh battery to pop into my camera. When I'm filming all day long in the park, one battery is just not gonna make it. So this thing is absolutely essential to me. Along with this, I also keep a USB-C cable in my bag so that I can even, oh gosh, so that way I can even charge my battery while I'm in the park if I need to. I know what you're thinking. Alex, how the heck do you charge your batteries? Well, I will graciously answer that question for you. I also use a little power bank. This thing is freaking awesome. I got it off Amazon. It was cheap and it holds like a full two or three phone chargers in it. So I can easily charge my phone back up to full and both of these batteries back up to full if I need to. It's got two USB outlets on it so I can just plug in this USB-C and plug it into my battery charger and let my batteries gain some more juice throughout the day. Along with that, if I need to recharge my phone, I have my iPhone lightning cable. And once again, I can plug this into one of the USB outlets on this battery pack. So that way I can charge my phone throughout the day as well. Oh, my last item, very important as well, is chapstick. I always bring chapstick with me to a park visit because the high speed winds of roller coasters really dry my lips out. And also you're out in the sun all day long again, you know, protect your skin. Love me some chapstick, helps keep me, keep me alive. Yeah, keeps me very alive. Okay, well that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to leave a like on this video and let me know if this video helped you out. If you're interested in getting into vlogging amusement parks and making videos or if this just helped make your next amusement park visit a little bit easier. With that, I will leave you with these videos to watch next and I'll see you there. Bye!